If your balance isn't great, then use a chair for support. Only lift your heel off the ground and move the ankle from side to side. If your balance is a little better, then continue to use the chair for support and rotate your ankle in one direction and then back again the other way. If your balance is better still, take your hand off the chair and just rotate the ankle in one direction and back the other way. Remember to change legs. So why are we doing this exercise? Well, apart from the balance work, in normal daily activities, the muscles of the foot and the lower leg are used more extensively than any others in the body. Soreness, tightness, restlessness and cramps are often associated with this area as it takes so much of the weight and load of the body. Once again, depending on your balance, either leave the foot on the floor or hold on to a chair. Keep the ankle relaxed and still. Rotate the knee joint gently in one direction four times and then four times the other way again. Now not too strenuously and remember it's a hinge joint and not a ball and socket. Once again, work to your own balance level by either keeping the toe on the floor and holding on a chair or just holding on the chair. Now in this exercise, try to keep the ankle and knee relaxed and still. Keep your head up, turn out the leg to the side and open up the hips. Close back in across the body. Repeat slowly for four times each side. <laughs> 